We're talking about rivalries tonight. What will be the fallout for football games this weekend? Uh, Georgia, Georgia Tech. It's, it's going to be weekend. a big one. All right, here's Bill Shanks with this week's BS Report. It's that time again, Georgia versus Georgia Tech. Yes, they call it clean old-fashioned hate, but what's really clean about it? It's the state rivalry. You may have a neighbor that roots for the other team, but you probably hang around your own kind, if you know what I mean. Now, this isn't Alabama and Auburn or even Clemson and South Carolina. Those two rivalries are full of hatred. And heaven help you if you're a Florida fan this year and you have to watch your team face Florida State. Good luck. But Georgia and Georgia Tech is a pretty good rivalry. Well, it would be even better if Georgia Tech would win more often. Yes, that was a knock. I'll probably get in a few more here, of course. But this season, there's nothing serious on the line. Neither team is undefeated or trying to get into the BCS bowl game. Instead, this game will have something smaller on the line. The winner will actually be an eight-game winner. Whoopee. While Alabama and Auburn will be on at the same time with a chance to go to the SEC title game and perhaps even the national championship game at stake, Georgia and Georgia Tech will be trying to win game number eight of the season. Yes, the winner will finish the regular season eight and four. The loser, seven and five. That might not sound like much, but seven and five is pretty bad. Not that eight and four is much better, but it's better than seven and five. Both teams have been ravished by injuries and have simply not played very well at times, but that's why they're battling for a mediocre record instead of trying to do something special this season. Both of these programs should be better. No excuses. Forget about the injuries. If Auburn could go three and nine and turn around and be a 10 game winner this season, there's no reason Georgia and Georgia Tech are trying to get eight wins. They both should be ashamed. We, the fans of these two teams, should expect more. We should expect this game to have something more on the line than just the chance to say they won eight games in the regular season. This game will be dominated by the storyline of a backup quarterback. Hudson Mason will take over for Aaron Murray, whose college career came to a cruel end Saturday with his knee injury. If Mason struggles and Georgia loses, the excuse will be they had a backup quarterback in the game. But if Mason does well and the Bulldogs win, Georgia Tech will probably find some excuse to give up a reason is why the backup quarterback beat them on their own home turf. If you want to know how insignificant this battle will be for the eighth win, just admit to yourself how much you're going to watch of this game with Alabama and Auburn on at the same time. Yes, this will be clean, old-fashioned hate between Georgia and Georgia Tech, but shouldn't we hate it that this game doesn't mean more than just a battle for an eighth win? By the way, Georgia will win. They always do. That's an objective opinion, of course, coming from a UGA grad, class of 1992. But if they don't, I can't wait to read that column Sunday in the Telegraph. Wait, I can't wait to write that column Sunday in the Telegraph. I'll probably have to cool off and realize the game really didn't mean that much, but that's the problem. It should. It always should. It does in Alabama when the Crimson Tide and the Tigers get together, and it should in this state too.